Grimlock 3 Part 3. Take a look. The body turned out okay. Not the worst. Kind of liked that. Um, kind of happy with it. For the most part. <laughs> now let's go ahead and take a look underneath it because I've done some mechanical mods to it since Part 2. Although I have the 1060 ESC and the power of the winch, it's not hooked up just yet, but I don't need it for this video. Now, no diff lock servos. I actually put the spools out of the sport into this, so it is permanently locked. I can actually remove this receiver if I have the need for it somewhere else. If not, it's doing just fine sitting right there. So, um, oh. I've got the suspension down. I've got about maybe a quarter inch of shaft showing at ride height, maybe even a little bit less. So it's really close to a droop suspension, but not quite, it's just close. Now, as far as the rear bumper goes, I did this rear bumper slider thing, and hopefully that'll allow me to slide off of rocks rather than getting caught up on the body. Now, the front bumper, actually was the rear bumper. I'm not too happy with that, and it's not even bolted in place just yet, but it's on enough to actually do some driving. So, let's go do some driving.
So guys, I was able to tune the shocks a little bit, get the truck sit down like where I want it. The truck performed really well. I still think there's a little bit more tuning that can be done to it, but overall, I think the truck is actually right on point to where it needs to be at this point in time. So the four wheel steering worked great. Uh, taking out the selectable discs really didn't affect anything at all. It was a little more simpler on the radio and the operation. I wasn't trying to, you know, engage and disengage for different things. So a little bit simpler operation. Uh, four wheel steering, that's wonderful if you use it correctly. Now I'm sitting there, you know, recording with one hand, driving with the other, trying to do all this stuff and the four wheel steering together. Without the camera, I'm usually a little bit better at driving a truck like that. So, however, hopefully you guys like the video. Check the description for links to different products that are on the truck. And as always, thank you all for watching.